All right, guys, welcome back into another PGA DFS video. Gonna begin to the best bets here for the Masters. Let's go. All right, so just pulling it up, I'm kind of going over what makes a good pick here for the Masters because this is a tournament that's actually pretty easily predictable, if you will. I shouldn't really say that like that phrase it like that. I was kind of phrased it poorly, but in terms of predictability, it is one of the more easy tournaments to predict as a whole um, and that's mostly due to the fact that this tournament um, really has shown us that course history matters and that recent form matters now those are already the staples in pga dfs research process so we're gonna be looking at course history and recent form data so course history um, really the top six minimum two starts in the field are dustin johnson brooks kepka rory McIlroy, uh john rom Justin Thomas and Tony Finau. Now there's some other people in there where, you know, Sun J M, Abraham Manser both have one starts and you know, they're not bad. They're not bad plays, but kind of the more long-term course history you have here, really the better um, it is going to be for you. Then we're also going to be looking at those players that do have good recent form. Uh, some of those players are going to be Matthew Fitzpatrick. That guy has been a stud recently. Um, he has an average finish of eighth over his last four events, which is absolutely phenomenal. We look at some other people like Paul Casey really stepping up. Um, been playing well kind of this whole season since the U.S. Open. We're looking at John Rahm. John Rahm has been a stud, and that's a name that popped up twice here. Really like John Rahm this week. Jason Kolkrak, Will Zatoris, and Sanjay M. Once again, Sanjay M. didn't really count on that first slide there because minimum two starts, but he's another name that would have popped up there twice. So we kind of have a good sense of what we want to do this week and what we want to be looking at this week. So let's get into kind of the top outright bets here for the Masters. All right, so if we're just looking at the stroke scan data throughout the whole season here, which is what I have pulled up here on the 9 to 5 Specialist page, I went through and highlighted all the top picks for the Masters. We can kind of get a good picture. Um, so this is the top 10 throughout the whole season. But what I want to do is I want to kind of scroll up here and really look at the last eight weeks or so. So we'll go, scroll through and go to week 16 to week 24. Um, obviously, we're going to be on the 25th tournament here in 25th week. Um, we can get a good picture of kind of what it's looking like. Freaking Paul Casey. I did not see this coming. Paul Casey ranks the best in strokes in total. Then Daniel Berger. No real shock there, though, to be uh, with Daniel Berger. Kind of surprising with Paul Casey. John Rahm then. John Rahm, guys, I'm telling you. Stat fit wise, recent form wise, and course history wise, the guy's checking all the boxes there. We love that. You look at Jordan Speed. Um, really only one bad start for recent form wise. That's kind of hurting him on that recent form category there. Been a stud though, um, really over the past eight weeks. So not bad there. We do like to see that. I think I was looking at the last 12 weeks when I pulled in that recent form data. So Jordan Speed really looking like a good play there as well. Obviously has good course history. He struggled in 2019 and 2020. Uh, been playing well recently. So his course history is like, I think 12th in the field. So still not bad. Then we got Brooks there again. So Brooks kept his very interesting play. If he were healthy, I would say he's a good play. We can't know if he's healthy or not. And, you know, if he's not healthy, I just don't see him being able to contend. This is a difficult tournament. We see on the PGA Tour a ton where players that are not healthy kind of just tend to struggle. Obviously, you're going to battle through it for the Masters to give yourself a chance to win. I'm a little bit worried about him as a play. So for me, starting it off, I'm really going to be looking at John Rahm as kind of my favorite bet here, guys. So I'll pull him up here on the player cheat sheet so you can see it a little bit more um, as well. All right, guys, so I have John Rahm pulled up. Just giving you guys another full picture of this. Recent form average, top 12 for a recent form average. Course history average, top 12 in that. So that is obviously spectacular. I'm talking about finish. Wow, it's top 12 in both of those. Best stat rank play on the field this week. Just really checking all the boxes this week. He even had a baby, which I think he's going to be a little bit more motivated there. We're getting John Rahm at double-digit odds. I absolutely love that for this tournament. I feel like he's going to be a strong play. Uh, we'll touch on Jordan Spieth. Now, Jordan Spieth is one of those players where, once again, just looking at the key stats, not going to grade out completely well in the model, but still key stats for a season long hasn't been there. We go back to this sheet here. Out of the top 15 or so players in the field, he ranks out top four in terms of like key stats that we want to be looking at. So obviously Jordan Spieth has been a stud and he's someone that we can just um, type in here just to give you guys the full picture as well. Select only. We can really see what Jordan Spieth has been doing uh, recently. <laughs> uh, average finished at 13th place over the last 13 
or over the last eight weeks. Trotsky in total rank, 18th. That's spectacular. Kind of surprising because his accuracy has been a little bit worrisome. I'm not going to be worrying about that too much. All these categories have been getting better throughout the year as well. Obviously, we, we like to see that for Jordan Spieth. So he's another one. At his current odds, I still like uh, 11 to 1, 12 to 1. Kind of depends where you're at. I feel pretty good about those two guys. Those really feel like one of those two are going to win. It's really coming down to that for this week. And then we just get into um, Justin Thomas here as well. Justin Thomas, I don't mind as a bet. Really not someone, just more of a gut play, if you will. Um, he's a guy where obviously he can put everything together like he did at the players. It kind of happens randomly, if you will. But when he does put it together, I absolutely can go off. Does rank out top 10 in the model. Uh, I feel like he's going to be a strong play uh, given his current odds as well. Then after that, I do want to get into Daniel Berger as a pick here, guys. So I feel pretty good about Daniel Berger. You look at what he's been able to do over really the last calendar year, but notching a bunch of wins here. Um, look at the chart. We saw him pulled up there earlier. He was one of the top five in those key stats that we want to be looking at. Over the last eight weeks, it's just going to be tough for me to avoid Daniel Berger. Has played well here at this course as well. I'll pull him up here on this cheat sheet page here for you as well. Because season long and recent form wise, really just checking the box, no matter which way you look at it, just standing out as a play. Top eight in the model. We're getting him at decent odds at 35 to 1. That seems like a mispriced play. He's a very equivalent play to that of uh, Justin Thomas and Jordan Speed. Of course, history could be a little bit better, I guess, if you will, 32nd and 27th, but. The dude's been playing some great golf, and still, I do like the fact that he has played this course before. It does have that course knowledge. We do like to see that as well. Now we're going to get into some kind of longer shot um, bets here. We're going to start with Abraham Answer, which he really just, I don't know what the Bucks are doing with him. Um, we look at recent form average, 15th in that. Course history average, he is going to be 6th in that. Now that's because he only has one start here where he finished top 13, but we can't really knock him for that. He finished well here. We like that. Uh, top 10 stat fit. Um, top three in the model. Abraham Manser really is just a strong bet and a strong play, no matter which way you look at it. 80 to 1. I feel pretty good about that for Abraham Manser. Then we're going to get into Corey Connors, guys. Corey Connors, to me, I don't really know what's going on. I don't know why he's still 80 to 1. Corey Connors, to me, is just a standout play. Made the cut in his first Masters and then finished top 10 in his second Masters. Okay. We always want to look for a player that has good course history. And that has course history. Well, Corey Connors has that for us. If we look at the recent form. He's kind of gets knocked for one start there at the Genesis Invite. Other than that, the guy has been spectacular. Top 20 at the Waste Management Phoenix Open. <laughs> top 5 at the API. Top 7 at the Players. Dell match played. Don't really care about that at all. Then he played well at the Bolero Texas Open. Even as a defending champ. We've seen defending champs kind of, I don't know what it is, a little bit more media. Their practice schedule gets thrown off a little bit. They've kind of struggled. So it was nice to see that Corey Connors was able to go out, make the cut, and actually play really well. And I saw top six in the model. 80 to 1 feels like a really good number for him. So if I had to really bet on three players this week, I would do John Rom, Jordan Speed, and then Corey Connors. It does feel like all signs are pointing to Jordan Spieth once again this week. Kind of like it was last week, but really do like John Rahm as well because he is such a strong play. Just given the stat that there hasn't been a player as strong of a play as John Rahm that hasn't been able to contend this season. We've seen it a lot earlier on with DJ when he was just absolutely a stud. He was like top five and everything as well, like John Rahm is this week. So going to be a fun and interesting week. Let me know what your favorite bet is for this tournament. But that's all I have for you guys for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe. I do appreciate that. And as always, guys, let's keep cashing.